It's time for our last thoughts and impressions. And I can't even see what it is. <laughs> Trackmania Turbo Build to Race. Let's see how it does as a game in this video. It seems like that, um, it seems like a building and racing kind of game, just like build and race. Building and racing games for the first and final episodes, huh? But yeah, let's get into this. Trackmania Turbo Build to Race is a good, it's kind of a building and racing game. Did I just say what it was? But we're not final, finally making the review. This is not a quick review, but it's like a car driving game. The graphics... Uh, they look pretty nice for a DS game. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say that. DS does not, it's less powerful hardware, and sometimes the graphics look a little bit pixelated for their console. Which I can understand because, well, in the day, you know, this is a DS game, as you see. And they use less powerful graphics and hardware. It's less... Their games are usually a little bit more blockier than the ones on the 3DS, and I think the graphics just look good for a DS game. That is all I'm trying to say. But what- but the graphics still- still- I think the graphics go well with the driving. And the controls, they work pretty well as well. I've never ran into any problems with the controls. Like, the steering goes nice, and it doesn't crash, it's, it all works properly. Everything works in a, in a proper way. So, that is why I think Trick Media Turbo has some good controls and great graphics. <clears throat> and the racing feels a little bit fun, but it feels like mostly test courses. There's no real actual racing, like build and race had. Like, I feel like the racing is kind of hidden out, and it doesn't it doesn't really feel like an actual racing thing. I gotta say, it just feels more like tests and what you would consider that. It doesn't really feel like an actual racing game. Whenever you play it, you'll really understand. So that was why I had. I had a problem with that, and and also I had a bit of a problem with the course builder. I felt like it was very hard to use, and it probably may be because I'm left-handed, you see right here. So that may be the problem, you see how I write. There, I'm left-handed, so it was probably a little bit harder, but DS, DS issues can make sense in that, so that is all I'm trying to say, is that it's a really hard to get used to Builder. It's not as fun as Build and Race, and it feels even worse than that, but it, at least it does have sound, which is one thing. The Build and Race forgot. Build and Race forgot the sound as they got into the game, so that is pretty much... That's pretty much everything that I gotta say, that Build and Race had a better better course builder. And this game is probably a bit better than that one. I couldn't really get into actual races, though. So, Track Mania Turbo, Build to Race, uh, how do I describe it? That was a pretty short thoughts and impressions, but... It, it's, it's sort of a bit okay at the other side. It has good graphics and good gameplay. It has great, good controls and good graphics and great gameplay. And good gameplay? That's all three goods, but the course builder feels way too over exaggerated. It feels so hard, and, and, and being a lefty does not make it an excuse. So, no excuse for being a lefty. But it is so hard to get used to. Not that you have to place the blocks and all, so it's it's a really hard to get used to course builder. And also may I also say this is that 
it doesn't feel like you're racing. So what am I going to say about Trackmania Turbo Build to Race? For the final thoughts and impressions, it's good. It's pretty good. It's a good game, but I feel like there could be improvements to the builder, and there also could be improvements to the racing. So that's what I think, and we are ending thoughts and impressions here. So hopefully you enjoyed all these 24 episodes on thoughts and impressions. They're all up and they're all here and I think I'm going to do something extra special. Through all 27, 23 other episodes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show all their ratings for thoughts and impressions as a word in, at the end of the video. So, just hopefully you enjoyed this extra special thoughts and impressions episode and I will see you. And I won't see you again. And I'll see you with other videos. Bye! Does that also mean that Bargain Bin has come to an end? Yes, it does. So, might as well I focus on my bargain shopping, which is still in the works, and not focus on this series. So, also, figure out why is my head rotating so much? I have no clue, but... Anyways, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for making Thoughts and Impressions what it is and what it is now. If you if you did support the series, then i got to say a big thank you to you. And I will see you later with more Derek Guest content. And it has been a great run. It has been a great time with Thoughts and Impressions. But now it's time to end. <laughs>